Hi viewers, welcome to another video of Pharmacon Tutorial. The topic for today's session is Bioassay that includes its principle, importance, types and methods and applications. So let's get started. Bioassay is defined as the estimation of potency of an active principle in a unit quantity of preparation. Potency is the amount of drug required to produce a desired effect. So the amount of drug required to produce a desired effect is estimated of an active principle in unit quantity of preparation. And in terms of concentration, it can be defined as the detection and measurement of the concentration of the substance in a preparation using biological method. The basic principles of bioassay is to compare the test substance with the international standard of the same and to find out how much test substance is required to produce the same biological effect as produced by the standard. The standards are internationally accepted samples of drug maintained and recommended by the expert committee of the biological standardization of WHO. These standard drugs are maintained in government institutions like Central Drug Research Institute Lucknow, Central Drug Laboratory Kolkata, etc. To assure reproducibility of the responses and minimize biological variation, we have to maintain uniform experimental conditions. Biosay can also be used to ascertain or to compare the potencies of active principle. Moving on to the indications or importance of bioassay. Bioassays when compared to other assays are less accurate, more laborious, expensive and troublesome. But however, bioassay is the only method of assay if the active principle and the chemical composition of the drug are unknown or if the active principle cannot be isolated. Bioassay is the only choice if the chemical method is either not available or if available too complex or damage the constituent or insensitive to low doses. Biosay is suitable for drugs with different chemical composition but having the same pharmacological action. Example cardioglycosides that is isolated from different sources. There are two types of biosay depending upon their responses that is quantal response and graded response. In quantal assay, the response is in the form of all or none that is either no response or maximum response. Examples of such assays are digitalis induced cardiac arrest in guinea pigs, hypoglycemic convulsions in mice. In graded response assay, the response is proportional to the dose and response may lie between no response and maximum response. Drugs producing great response can be biosayed by matching or bracketing method or graphical method. This flowchart depicts methods of biosay for agonist and antagonist. Method for agonist with graded response include matching method, graphical or interpolation method and multiple point method. And method for quantal response is endpoint method. Method of antagonist is done with the graphical method. Now let us have a look at endpoint method. Here the threshold dose producing a positive effect is measured on each animal and the comparison between the average results of two groups of animal, one receiving standard and the other receiving test is done. Example of such a biosay is biosay of digitalis in cat. Here the cat is first anesthetized and its blood pressure is recorded. The drug is slowly infused into the animal and the moment the heart stops beating and the blood pressure falls to zero and the volume of fluid infused is noted down. Two series of such experiments, one using standard digitalis and the other using test preparation of digitalis is done and the potency is calculated. And the potency can be calculated using the formula concentration of the unknown is given by the threshold dose of standard divided by threshold dose of test into concentration of the standard. Moving on to the matching method. 
Here the test responses are taken first and the observed response is tried to match with that of the standard and the concentration of the test is determined using the formula dose of standard by dose of test into concentration of the standard. This method has few limitations that it occupies a large area of the drum and the matching is purely subjective so chances of errors are there and it does not give any idea related to the dose response relationship. Next about the graphical method. Here 5 to 6 responses of the graded dose of the standard are taken and then 2 equiactive responses of the test samples are taken. The height of contraction is measured and plotted against the log dose. The dose of standard producing the same response as produced by the test is directly from the graph and the concentration of the test sample can be determined using the formula. Here this graphical method is based on DRC and it is simple and less chance of errors. Here the bioassay of acetylcholine using graphical method is shown in this figure. Now let's have a look at multiple point method. The responses are repeated several times and the mean of each is taken. Thus chances of errors are minimized in this method. In three point method, two doses of the standard and one dose of the test are used. Whereas in four point method, two doses of standard and two doses of test. In six point method, three doses of standard and three doses of test are used. Similarly, we can also design eight point method using four doses of standard and four doses of test. And the sequence of responses is followed as per the Latin square method of randomization. This is done to avoid bias. In 3 point biosy, two doses of standard that is S1 and S2 are selected and the dose ratio should be such a way that S2 by S1 should be equal to 2 and the dose of test should produce an intermediate response between S1 and S2 and the sequence of response is S1, S2, T, S2, T, S1, T, S1, S2. Here the mean responses are calculated and plotted against the log dose and the potency of the test is found using the formula that is N1 by T into anti log of T minus S1 divided by S2 minus S1 into log N2 by N1 whole into Cs, where N1 is the lower standard dose, N2 is the higher standard dose, T is the test dose, S1 response of N1, S2 response of N2 and T the response of test and Cs is the concentration of the standard. In 4 point biopsy, 2 doses of standard S1 and S2 and 2 doses of test solution T1 and T2 are selected and the dose ratio is in such a way that S2 by S1 equal to T2 by T1 which is equal to 2. The sequence of response is followed as per least square method and the amount of standard producing the same response as produced by the test can be determined by graphical method. And it is determined mathematically using the formula N1 by T1 into anti log of S1 plus S2 minus T1 plus T2 divided by S2 plus T2 minus S1 plus T1 whole into Cs. Moving on to biopsy of antagonist. So, commonly used method for this biopsy of antagonist is simple graphical method itself. And the responses are determined in the form of the percentage inhibition of the fixed dose. And these can be plotted against the dose. And these can be plotted against the log dose of the antagonist. And the concentration of unknown is determined by finding out the amount of standard producing the same effect as produced by the test. Here two responses of same dose of agonist are taken of same dose of agonist are taken 
and in the bath we are adding minimum dose of standard antagonist and the response of same dose of agonist can be taken and this is repeated for every 10 minute till the recovery and the higher dose of standard antagonist is given and the test and the higher dose of standard antagonist is given and the test antagonist also used similarly and the percentage inhibition is calculated by plotting against log dose and concentration of unknown determined as usual method bioassay has its application in estimation of potency of natural drugs estimation of concentration of active principle in tissue extract estimation of ed50 ld50 in standardization of natural drugs and screening of new compound